How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over some of the updated information that we have about MLB The Show 20, what's brand new, as well as a, a brand new fall cup. We're talking about the seventh inning program. We have our final uh, hint at the last boss to be revealed a little bit later today. There's a live stream going on uh, for MLB The Show on Sony San Diego Studios Twitch and that's going to reveal the seventh inning bosses a little bit later. So I'll talk about uh, this six inning program we only have as you can see uh, 22 hours and 27 minutes remaining i'm sitting at 471 stars i'm going to go over how to redeem the six inning voucher in this video we've had a couple people ask about that i'm probably also going to open up some packs so let's go ahead and get back to the updated schedule at the main screen well i guess we could talk a little bit about this fall cup starting uh, august 22nd so there is going to be a series of five qualifiers uh, it's going to be the same type of setup that took place last time i'm going to reveal a tweet right here this is mlb the show's promotion on this fall cup the leaves are starting to change we have a brand new fall circuit signups for this circuit are taking place if you actually click this in the game it will take you right to it but um dollars in cash prizes stub rewards mlb the show merch as well as uh just i think memorabilia as well i think you can earn you know ken griffey jr jersey they showed that in this actual clip i think you can win maybe even a player's jersey of your choice so that's something awesome i don't know if i'll be able to participate in this but i kind of wanted to go over it briefly and then i believe at the front main screen here they're also discussing that uh that fall circuit it's the same type of promotion here the stub sale ended the other day we have the brand new event and then of course the seventh inning program with three new bosses starting tomorrow a lot of people are speculating that that clue something in the water has to do with the shark map that is a conquest map that gave us a lot of rewards last year so that might be something to keep in mind i don't know if it has anything to do with the specific bosses that they're hinting at i'll start to get uh, into that let me go ahead and get this set up for the voucher as we go ahead and talk about some of these hints so mlb the show is also going to release a brand new headliner into the game we got this tweet uh i guess tweeted out earlier and this is probably the funniest clue i've seen mlb the show tweet out so far set 43 headliner and a bunch of letters numbers it's almost like a crypto message i believe people were typing this in into a translator uh some hexo language and it also said in english the question marks don't mean anything or the question marks mean nothing something along those lines and i thought that that was pretty funny because the last headliner that we had revealed uh linked up with starling Marte, or at least the question marks did and they revealed noah Syndergaard. so obviously they don't mean anything they're kind of just messing with us trolling us a little bit and i can respect it we will have this headliner card revealed today as well i'm gonna go ahead and just throw a prediction out there bobby witt jr was the first person that kind of came to my mind a future stars version of that card uh, this was kind of a clever tweet or a tweet that included some wit so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, predict bobby witt jr i probably just you know just come up with that on my own or just decided you know that's who i'm going with pretty much i mean i've just decided to pick a player i'm expecting to get more future stars released into the game through headliners or in a variety of ways but i'm kind of going to go with that prediction Let's go ahead and show the next clue though. This next clue is related to the seventh inning boss. And this is the third boss. Obviously it's not Bryce Harper, it's not Frank Thomas. And this to me looks like Walter Johnson. Right off the bat, we can kind of see him there in his Washington uh, Senators jersey, the pinstripes. I have a feeling that uh, this is going to be the, at the Twins field when they reveal this a little bit later today. I think that this is a pretty good card though all around walter johnson wasn't that great in mlb the show 19 but if they decide to go with maybe a 19 uh 1913 mvp version of walter johnson he did record 36 wins and only seven losses that year he uh had a 1.4 well actually 1.14 era 346 innings pitched he won the mvp award so that's kind of the card i'm thinking we're going to get we also could get a 1924 MVP award card, but he didn't put up nearly 
as many good numbers or he didn't put up the the pitching statistics that he did in 1913 but that was you know when he's about 11 years into his prime or so 36 years old when he won that second MVP I'm just kind of looking at uh, baseball reference as I go there but I think that this is Walter Johnson we can almost uh we can almost confirm that his attributes will look pretty close to this right here I mean I don't think that uh They'll be exactly the same, especially if it's an MVP card versus a signature series. Let's go ahead and hide this webcam and everything so you can take a look at it further. This is the card that we had in last year's game. Not a bad Walter Johnson. Uh, he just threw fastballs very flat in last year's game. I mean, his fastball didn't have a lot of movement. The way he throws in the game is very easy to pick up. I just never really faced this card. I think he was included in the signature series pack, if I'm not mistaken. I tried him out, but it was a card I never really saw that often. If he has these stats, though, or pretty close to these attributes, he will be pretty effective. Maybe a little bit more effective in MLB The Show 20. But I wanted to just show his card art there. We'll bring back the face cam, and we will hide this. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this voucher. I might as well just collect these bosses. The way to earn the seventh inning voucher is by just locking these guys in like this. You have to have all of the previous bosses. And I have not done this for any of these programs. I mean, six inning voucher, I have two of the bosses, and they're both locked in. Both of these players are prestige. But I don't have David Ortiz. I didn't really collect these bosses along the way. I mean, I sold uh, my reward from this one. I picked Felix Hernandez, sold him. Um, I mean, I did choose, let's see, fourth inning voucher. I did choose Chipper Jones here, but I wasn't going to lock in some of these other guys that I didn't feel I was going to use. Now, for this voucher in the seventh inning program, or I guess, you know, the seventh inning voucher where you have to lock in the sixth inning bosses, I think that this is worth it. I'm going to, I plan on keeping Stan Musial, Jimmy Rollins, Greg Maddox throughout the entire year. We might as well just lock these players in. And waste the stubs on packs. Why not? Why would we do anything else? So let's do it. Collect these items. We got the voucher. We're ready to go for tomorrow. I'm probably going to be trying to grind out the program. I mean, I don't know if I'll be one of the first people to get them as I'm going to be extremely busy with school and everything, or at least teaching. But that's another reason why I want to get that voucher. Now I have a 75 point uh, star or program stars towards that seventh inning. So nice boost there. Let's go ahead and uh, spend these stubs, though. Let's buy, let's see, we have 37,000. I'm not really feeling one of these beach ball packs simply because I've already purchased all of the players in the elite round. I've tried them, um, or I guess rare round, my mistake. I'm thinking that there's going to be an elite round eventually. But uh, the players in the rare round could be, you know, arguably some of the better cards in the game with Robert, Ryan, Hornsby. I never tried Ryan because he doesn't look that good to me. But if you like him, some of these other guys are really good for uh, base round players. But I think I'm going to buy a 20-pack bundle. Why not? Let's buy a 20-pack. Open these up. We have a couple Twitch drop packs from the uh, CCL League going on as well. I try to tune into that as much as I could. We'll just quickly go through some of these. Hopefully, we pull something. Just wanted to kind of go over a few of these things. You know, the Fall Cup, the brand new headliner clue that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, nice troll from SDS right there. And then, of course, the Walter Johnson hint, that final seventh inning boss hint. If you were a little bit confused as to why uh, we, we had three players already revealed for the seventh inning, we I, I believe that that Nelson Cruz card will be a player program linked up with the seventh inning for 20 program stars like they've done in the past, like we just had uh, Brandon Phillips released, very similar to that. So hopefully we can pull a diamond today, man. We pulled... Miguel Cabrera last time I did this and I said during that video if I didn't pull a diamond I'm not buying any more bundles and I pulled a diamond. So here we are. We're buying another bundle And it's not looking too good. We did pull the goat Joey Gallo That's not bad But I figured you know we got two million stubs. I have most of the players I want to get I might as well waste a few thousand stubs here and there. There's a diamond. That's what I'm talking about Who is it? American League center fielder? That is definitely Mike Trout American League third baseman, live series. That's not Miguel Cabrera, all-star. Matt Chapman, nope. Anthony Rendon. Not bad, different Angels player. I was hoping for Mike Trout, but hey, there's a diamond. Make some of our stubs back. 
All right, halfway through, halfway through. Maybe the 20-pack bundles are the move because I've already pulled as many diamonds out of a 50 as I did in this one. Let's see, eight left, a couple Twitch packs, and a gold card. Let's get this gold out of the way. I've pulled a diamond out of here before. I have. There's another one. It's not a gold. It's not a gold player. Javier Baez. Wow, didn't even know his position. Just going off the animation. It's not even Baez, it's Tatis. I got fooled. I didn't even know what Tatis' animation was looking like, though, because he's a new diamond, but we got him. A once-before gold we pulled. Tatis. All right. All right. Let's go for it. And let's go for another. We made most of our stubs back, honestly. Or at least half. Which is better than I was expecting out of these packs. Might as well open up some packs, right? I mean, all these stubs are going to be useless next March. But it's good for content right now. Let me know which boss you guys are going to get, though. Once we see the attributes a little bit later on today's Twitch stream, we'll know more of a definitive decision. But as of right now, I'm taking I'm taking Bryce Harper, man. I, I don't know about you guys. I need all the outfielders in the entire game. Give me all of them. No, I just don't think I'll do that well with Frank Thomas. Who knows? All right, we have only pulled Mike Trout out of a Twitch drop pack. I'll take a gold. I'll take a gold. Shout out to... Uh, Honestly, don't even know where I got these packs from, but shout out to that created content creator league. Almost said created player league. Um, solid, solid silver, solid pack opening all around. Not bad, not bad. We got that voucher. We got fifteen thousand XP. Uh, these packs, these B twelve packs, might be going away here fairly soon. I'm I'm sure they're going to make a return, but they've been here for over a week, I would say, and. I think that they'll end up taking these out and then maybe bringing them back with an elite round. That's kind of my hope. But thank you all for watching uh, this kind of update in terms of information as well as pack opening. We pulled a couple diamonds. That's not bad at all. Made some stubs back. Who knows, man? Maybe we'll open up some more packs in the future. Thank you all for watching and peace out.